bitch get busted. <sighs> How would you feel if some thing came up to your bedside at night, tried to get you to open your eyes? That is exactly what we're going to be finding out today in today's gameplay of, uh, <laughs> this, this is literally called Open Your Eyes. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Scary as Fuck Saturday. It has been a minute since I've actually announced it and done one, but here we are. Um, I was looking through Ichi.io and I saw this game and people were saying it was very disturbing and uncomfortable. So, here we go. It is more of a text-based game. So it's gonna be a lot of reading for me and a lot of listening for you. And I hope you enjoy. Let's get into the video. The black lounge is supposed to be here, by the way. I don't wanna hear that. Uh, it's getting late. Or should I get closer to the mic? Should I serenade you? Or should I, do I have to click? Okay, I have to click. <clears throat> My eyelids have begun to feel heavy. I, be, I better go to sleep. Okay. I leave aside the book I've been reading, and I look out my window. The process of falling asleep is always a struggle against noise. Barking dogs, police sirens, or even my own instructive thoughts. Intrusive thoughts. I'm already fucking up. Not even the turning gears in my brain are producing much sound. Tonight is just oddly quiet. Too quiet. Oh, fuck. Here we go. Here we go. I feel restless. My sight veers towards the hallway toward outside. My Why is his door open? To, like, who just leaves their door open like that into the darkness of their hallway? Close that shit. The distance between my room and the opposite wall is only 10 steps long, okay? I know since I've made it a habit of counting them whenever I go out. One, two, three. Absent-mindedly, but always. I don't know why. Maybe I just like being aware of my surroundings to the smallest details. But tonight is different. The hallway looks like it's stretched into nothingness. Like the throat of a gargantuan beast. I'm got my words today. At least I'm on point. <clears throat> Logical thinking cries that is just my imagination. There can't be anything wrong or different about it. Oh, we're about to find out different. It's just the hallway. <laughs> but. I don't want to look at it. But so take a deep breath and close my eye. This is not going to be. <laughs> Listen, I don't want to be jump scared in this game. Please. In my room. There's a bed in my room. There's a wardrobe in my room. There's pictures framed on the wall. My room is a part of myself. It's a world I know like the back of my hand. For someone to blindfold me and ask me to find my way around, I do so without the slightest difficulty. As long as nothing changes, having my eyes closed makes no difference. In this room, I can always find what I want to find. Because in this room, I know how everything looks. About to find out real different real fast. <clears throat> I need to wake up early tomorrow. I should really try to sleep. That's me right now. It's, it's like 7 a.m. right now. I haven't slept since fuck it. The 7 a.m. of the previous day. Um, uh, excuse me? Who walking? Bruh, close your door now. Just close it. Bruh, these footsteps sound real, bitch. What's that sound? Yeah, what is that? Are those footsteps? You don't think. Bro, just grab the blicky and just shoot through the hallway. That's all you gotta do. Clear it out. No, that's impossible. Nothing's impossible. Must be my imagination. There's someone in your house. Shoot down the hallway. Um, <clears throat> but it's getting closer. 
and closer and closer and closer they are gone right there's no way someone could be here Oh, <sighs> what's up? Open your eyes. Yes, no, fuck no. I don't open my eyes. The ambiance. Open your eyes. Nah. <laughs> no. At me. No. I do my best to ignore the voice. Why won't you look at me? I don't want to look Where at you. Your manners. Fuck the stranger you. Stranger asks for help. Is it right to ignore them? Yes. Is that how it is? Yeah, it's okay to ignore people. Fuck them. I can feel someone breathing over my ear. It's cold. I will share a secret with you. I have never seen myself before. I don't know if my face is ugly. You... <laughs> okay. I don't know the color of my skin. You're definitely black. Uh... For I right now. I don't know if I'm even here. You're definitely here, bruh. That is why I need you. No. So you can tell me how I look. <laughs> but I'm also shy. Uh huh. So I might hide the moment you do. You won't find me anywhere. And soon you will forget. Oh, okay. Like a faded dream. I know you're not asleep. You listen. <laughs> With those tiny ears of yours. They look so fragile. Please don't touch my ears. Like I could almost grab them. Don't touch my ears. I feel something caress my ear. This motherfucker touching my ear. Okay. Put my fingers around them. Please don't touch my ear. And tear them off. Yeah, probably. Will I hear your voice? You def most definitely will. Please don't take my air off. That was a joke. I wasn't. <laughs> I wasn't a very fucking funny joke, I'm dude. I'm joking. You're bad at it. Don't be scared. I'm afraid. <laughs> hey. What's up? How do you think my eyes look? Hmm. When our cases finally meet. What will you find? Answer me. They look broken, they look empty, they look lost. Empty, lost. Um. Let's go with lost. They I'm feeling that one. Lost. Yeah, like you're searching and you don't know what the fuck you're looking for. Or like you're, you're looking and you can't find it. Oh, it looks sad? Okay. That may be so. I am never sure of where I am. Okay. My days consist of wandering about aimlessly, searching for something. Your face, right? Like what you look like? I worry that if I'm not paying attention, what I'm searching for will slip away. The thought terrifies me. Me so much. You terrify me. So I always keep my eyes peeled. Even if there's nothing to see. That way, nothing will slip away. This is. No matter where it goes, no matter where it hides. 
night. No matter how terrifying the world might be. No matter the countless terrible things I witnessed by mistake in the process. A man just sound like he's having a hard life right now. No matter what, I will never blink. You've never blinked? So did he say that to align with what I said or did like I make like a right choice? He sounds like he's right here in my ear. What is it? I don't fucking know, dude. You tell me. Is it something I can hold? Is it a being of flesh and bones? A mirror. Is it nearby? It's a mirror. It's a bathroom to the left. Go look at yourself. Is it oh. you? It ain't me, bro. It's a mirror. Okay, this is bathroom to the left, right there, outside the door. Hey. Yeah. Have you ever looked so fervently for something? I looked for my phone kind of fervently yesterday. Did you end up losing yourself in the process? Not that bad, no. Have you? I remained silent. These eyes. Are these my eyes? Bitch, how am I supposed to? Yes. You you sound like a loss. You sound lost. These, these are your answer. eyes. Okay. Yeah, there is only one way to know the truth. I'm not I'm not opening my eyeballs. Open your eyes. My man my man look mad sad. No. So you won't look at me. Mm-mm. Even though your eyes are so pretty. You know what my eyeballs look like, bro. I can't see them, but I can imagine them behind their fell of flesh. Round like pearls. And shiny like jewels. So, so pretty. <sighs> A breath of cold air caresses my eyelashes. This bitch it's blowing on my eyelashes. We still have time. The night is still and silent. Why is he breathing like that? Bro, you better not be touching the dun next to my bed, bro. People are good at closing their doors. Unlike me. Do you know what a door is? Of course you know. You have one right there. At the verge of your little world. From my bedroom? A door is a barrier to keep the bad out. The bad can be anything. A bad person. A bad smell. And sometimes. Me. You bad sometimes, bro? I can't open doors. So all this could have been avoided if I would just close my fucking door. Listen. Don't leave your door closed. When you go to bed today, this motherfucker's gonna come by. I find them tricky. You don't have hands. Should I push or pull? That one's a push. Should I turn the knob left or right? Should I try to take it off its inches? Should I chip away at it, hoping it will fall apart? And what happens when it opens? Close it behind me. Do I keep it open? But that might be rude to the person who had it closed. But then, how do I get out? And what happens if the wind pushes it close? What then? So many options. So many things I could go wrong. Whenever I stand in front of a closed door, it paralyzes me. I stare at it for a long time and think of my excuses. Because that's all they are. What by? 
bothers me the most about closed doors is the idea they exist. To keep me out. It fills me with the need to go in. They open the door. So I search for a crevice or a window. Anything that might be open. Okay. Anything that might let me in. All right. I'm not good with doors. But as long as there's a place where I can fit, then I can go in anywhere. Every night, I hop across the shadows of the streets. I'm careful so as to not be caught by the light. In my eternal search, I pick a place where to rest. I slip in and spend the night wherever is comfortable. Without alerting anyone. Usually it's a cellar, an attic, anywhere with dust, with dirt. He's in your attic right now. I feel at home there. But sometimes, just sometimes, an urge swells inside of me. The urge. Mm -hmm. So I search hard for a door that's open. My fucking door, cause I didn't close my goddamn door today. For an entryway covered in darkness, and for someone to be at the other end, awake, as if expecting me. But you won't look at me. Nope. Even though you had your door open for visitors. <laughs> Was it for you, bro? I had a I had a baby girl coming over. She she didn't respond. You know I was gonna surprise her with the glizzy up under the thing when she walked through. She didn't come by, and I was like, "Fuck it, I'm going to bed." And so, was it for you? Why is that? Are you afraid? Do I scare you? Yes. No. That can't be it. We have been chatting for so long. It's been about 24 minutes. You have chased me 20 out. minutes. That means you welcome me. Bitch, if I open my eyes, you might snap my face. So I'm certain that if I were to reach out my hand. Something moves over my bed sheet, so. You would reciprocate and grasp it. Nah. I'm sure your hands are warm. So very warm. My man probably just lonely, bro. Like, because people are always warm. Hey, how do my hands look? I don't. When my warmth finally meets yours, how will it feel? Answer me. Okay. They look tired. They look deceitful. They look incomplete. Um. Tired. They look tired. Yeah, you've been just running around, hopping through the darkness, getting in attics and shit. You tired, bro. You got set. You I'd be tired too, wouldn't you? Oh. That may be so. Why do they like that? These fingers of mine have touched so many things. They are always. Stretching forwards, reaching out for something. The tip of my finger stands over the surfaces that I travel, and their sensations reach the core of my brain. Be it the softness of the first spring flowers, or the roughness of a wall made out of rubbish. Caressing, grabbing, Clawing. No matter the time of day, no matter if I'm awake or asleep, as if they had a mind of their own. I feel like what I say is affecting what he you says. Know, they clutch onto the fabric of your bed sheets. I'm naked under here, but I'm pulling these off. They like how these thousands of threads intertwine with each other. Of fabric against fabric, 
of skin against skin is irresistible. Hey, listen, bro. I don't know if you're trying to get free here or something, but you sound like a dude. I'm not in the glizzies, bro. They want more. <laughs> don't grab my fucking cover, bro. I want to feel closer. Bruh. To have it between them and around them more and more and more. Sometimes, however, they can reach as far as they'd like. That's when I... And to hand, I take over and stretch, 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 and they grow. Maybe just the length of a fingernail every time, but they grow just so they can reach out, clutch what they want, and then throw it aside, discarded, and forgotten. That's why they are tired. Because they never stop seeking. And most likely, never will. Can you, bruh? Hey, have you ever stretched your fingers to grab a hold of something important? Yeah. Only to learn that it's been long out of your grasp. You can stretch your finger and hit that like button. You know, help your boy out. It helps with the algorithm. Help you get up there. I'll stop doing it back. <laughs> I remain silent. These hands are these my hands. Yes. A good answer. Okay. And yet there is only one way to know the truth. I'm not looking at you. Your eyes. No. So you won't look at me. Nah. -uh. Even though my hands could be the same as yours. My hand don't look like that, bro. Think about it. Maybe you and I are similar. No, I know we are. I can feel it in my skin. Oh. Can you hear it? The fuck did you put your chest in my ear? My skin is pulsating. It need has a been heart? long since this happened. It's a sign of my innermost emotions flowing out. It's your fucking heart. I wander the world, wanting to be seen. I'll be satisfied as long as someone tells me how I look. But it's not like anyone will do. If it did, then it would be oh so easy. Since okay. I could show myself to everyone at once. What do you mean? Every living person in this land. And ask them all the same question. Someone will answer. There's no doubt about it. But it might not be the answer I Bro, wish for. All you need is a mirror. All these houses you jump into or whatever the fuck you there's plenty of mirror. You got windows on cars, buildings, the fucking rear view mirrors and side mirrors on, on cars as well. Listen, bro, this is not smart. To be judged. I don't want to be perceived as something I'm not. Then just look at a mirror, you can perceive it yourself, you know, like brain meats. It scares me. That is why. When someone is on the verge of looking at me. Also, if he hasn't never, if he has never blinked, how has he not at least seen himself one time? Like, I shy away. I hide, fading into the dark. But you might be different. <sighs> if it's you, it might be possible to stand still, if only for a second. That way you can help me. And we can both be fulfilled. Ah, just thinking about it, it makes me feel. Oh. Feel. Something. I cannot describe it. 
scared? I am not good with words. Bro, you've been speaking to me for 27 minutes now. Okay, you good there with words. There was a person in my past who taught me to speak like a person. Okay. They were not good at it either. And thinking back on it, they certainly didn't enjoy it. To teach a wordless being how to talk must be a challenge. Yet, they did. Simply because they could. What happened to him? To remember. What happened to him? What you do? You kill him? Because it makes me think of why I want to be seen. Then why do you want to be seen so much? I don't want to be judged. But if that were it, I could easily stay out of sight. So why is it? Why do I want someone to recognize me so much? Maybe it's only because I can. Because everyone gets to be recognized. But me. Okay. But I will. Soon. Once you open your eyes. Maybe. Ah, there it is again. Just thinking about the moment you unveil your sight onto me. Bruh, I, pff, I don't. And you finally take those bed sheets off your body. And you inspect every crevice of mine. Nah. And you finally, finally, finally open those tight lips of yours. No, 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 no. To let me hear what I am. And to maybe even give me a name. Bro, your name is get the fuck out. It makes me feel something. I don't know what. Ah. Oh. Surely it would be evident if you were to look at my face. Nah. Hey, what does my expression look like when that veil of uncertainty finally disappears? What will we convey to each other? Answer me. A cheerful smile, a surprise grimace, an emotionless stare. We go <laughs> an emotionless stare. An emotionless stare. Yeah. Oh. If it may be so, expressions are difficult. They require one's face to contort in many different ways. I am not capable of that. Everything about me is stiff. From the way I walk, to the way I talk, to the way I feel. It is something I noticed long ago. Don't give me no more backstory, bro. I may hurt and I may grow. Oh. But I do not change. Okay. Not in the way other people do. People interact with each other. They form connections. They experience thrills. A person becomes someone different with each passing second. Turning old and perishing. Okay. However, I don't think I'm capable of any of those things. My journey began long ago. Longer than any person has ever journeyed. Okay. And in my life, I have seen others born and die. Born and die. A person's existence is so fleeting. So you're and yet, old. so many things happen to them. So many worthwhile memories. It is something I lack. Were I to write a book, I could not fill a single page. It's not for the lack of memories, but rather because these memories mean nothing to me. Because he'll he won't die. Like say for a minuscule number, they are all the same. 
Okay. Blending with each other into a mottled gray. Lacking the meaning people often give to that which they care about. Perhaps if someone else had left what I had, they would see meaning. Okay. They would treasure it. But I cannot. No matter how I try, I can't see any worth in what I do. And by extension, in what I am. I want for someone to tell me how I look. Yet, I don't see that as important. So why the fuck are you here? No one but me would care. So why should I care? But that doesn't mean I have never felt. I feel things. Joy, sorrow, fear. I am always feeling. And right now. This mad fuck of heart. I'm feeling strongly. Okay. It's here in my pulsating skin. You say my expression is emotionless. That it shows nothing. And if you say so, it must be true. But soon you will see something. Because what I'm feeling is not nothing. Hey, have you ever masked yourself with indifference? Only to hide the overwhelming emotions hiding beneath. Yeah. Have you? Yeah, yeah sure. I remain this silent. This expression is this my expression. Yeah. I see. Thank you. You have truly helped me tonight. These are my eyes. These are my hands. I think it's about to get to the conclusion. This is my expression. I consider these my most treasured features. And you have helped me picture them all. No one has done this for me. I feel a connection with you. He just sounds like he's lonely and lost and don't the fuck he look like he's living forever, but fucking confused. One born out of honest gratitude. But there's one step left. <sighs> I gotta look at him, don't I? Make sure of the truth. It is the only way to finally understand each other. So please, I beg of you. All right, so he said this is, this is his most treasured features. I don't think there's more left. I don't know if he'll go away, if he'll try to attack me, but I kind of do want to see what he looks like. Since I've helped him picture it all, and I feel like if I don't, I'm, I'm gonna be busy gonna walk away. So we're gonna open our eyes, okay? I don't want to get jump scared, but here we go. I open whole oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Hey yo, bruh. Hey bruh. Hey, hey bruh. There's nothing there. Hey, hey bruh. All right, so I looked online and I don't see anything that indicates that you actually ever see them. Or like you can create something that you can actually see. So that is it. Um, I hope you enjoyed. it. Uh, this game was very uncomfortable. I think I just tried to make you feel bad for the dude at the end, but it, it didn't really stick with me. It didn't really hit like that but uh tell me what you thought in the description down below and also let me know when you maybe would have or wouldn't have opened your eyes um i'll see that down in the comment section down below but uh thank you for watching hopefully i will see you in the next video peace